it's Bree and welcome to your Wednesday English lesson. Now, today we are going to be learning about dialogue and including dialogue into our writing. So next week, I'm going to give you the heads up that we are going to be rewriting the sheep pig. And next week, I'm going to be looking at a different sentences. So that's why we started this week with compound and complex sentences. So I'm going to be looking at who can use a variety of sentences in their writing. So some simple, some compound and some complex sentences because that really enriches your writing. But also who can include dialogue within their writing. So we're going to focus today and tomorrow on dialogue. And today your exercise, I don't know if you can see that it says it's turning sentences into dialogue. So the sentence is, my mum wanted to know why I needed to go to the shop. So to turn that into dialogue, we would say, can you see? Um, why do you need to go to the shop? Asked mum. So that is how I would turn that sentence into dialogue. Now some rules that you need to know. All of your words and punctuation that are spoken go within your inverted commas. So if you remember, we talked a long time ago about 66 and 99. Do you remember? So they are what we call inverted commas. And your speech, the words that are spoken, go within those inverted commas. But also punctuation. So in this case, this is a question and therefore the question mark goes inside the inverted comma at the end. How it's spoken, so in this question it's asked, goes out of the sentence and there's a full stop at the end. So inverted comma, why do you need to go to the shops? Question mark, inverted comma, asked mum, would be a perfectly punctuated dialogue sentence. So have a go at completing the others you've got there today. You've also got alternatives to said. An alternative word is a synonym. We've talked about synonyms before, so they are words that mean the same. So instead of keep saying said, 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 think about all the different ways you could say said. Um, scream, shouted, bellowed, whispered, asked, all of those words. Um, that would also enhance your writing. So have a go at these today and remember the reason that we're doing this is so that we can include it in our writing next week. Have a lovely day. See you in math.